Well, that was quite impressive. I didn't think you guys uh, had the ability to get out of there. At least not today. I assume you are fleeing the dungeon? Yes. Um, Dungeon's I, that scary. I assume that we are um, finding a spot in the wilderness to rest. Uh, if that's what you want to do. Unless we're teleporting back to town. Oh, you used your teleport, didn't you? Wilderness it is. Wilderness yeah. Is. <laughs> Oh, wow. Actually, I can assist now. Assist now in what? The, uh, his survival check. Okay, so you guys exit the dungeon and, uh, go to find a place to camp. You were only in there for an hour or so, I believe. So it's still fairly early in the day. So I'm going to assume we're following them, Colonel. Oh, yeah. We spend the day getting to know our new friends. Yep. I'm going to introduce myself as Yam, a uh, friendly neighborhood bard. To provide support, <laughs> I swing the chain and rely on Tamora to guide the the weapons out of their hands. Well, that was a wasted survival check. So, uh, Yogi, we have the same survival check. How the hell do you have the same survival check as the druid? Because I rolled a natural twenty. Oh, okay. I thought, but you're both plus 20 is my point. How do you have a plus 20 survival? Plus no, he's plus 10. I'm plus 20. It, oh, we just yeah. equal the same. Yeah, bad DM math there. Can you guys see? Huh? Yes. Did we get some healing? Yeah, 14. To who? Someone got 14. Everyone. Everyone. Oh. Oh, that's your healing word. Mm -hmm. What level is that? Uh, Did you say two? Yeah, it's level two. Um, if you're looking at my character sheet i updated the document not the character sheet no the character it's fine. Sheet kind of useless right well the character sheet is what you make out of it some players use it uh completely and totally and don't even bother with the document and others go the other way whatever works for you is fine with me as long as i have a version of it i can uh refer to are you able to heal yourselves tomorrow, or should yeah, I make a tomorrow for sure? We can heal ourselves. All right. I think I think two of us have healing spells. I can cast a couple of uh, cure lights on the worst people. Yeah, I'm I'm tapped out of spells. I got nothing. Well, cure minor actually. Um, I'll give a few cure minors. To whoever asks. So this will be easy. Uh, if you don't mind, Crimson could use a little. So I'll give 11 to Crimson and then the 13 to. Well, 
It's really good that you guys found us, but what were you doing down there? Looking for the glorious Kobold Dragon Treasure! Huzzah! She's not Did very energetic. It? We found you, which must be the treasure, right? You're the treasure. You must be the treasure. Yes, the dragon was hoarding us. I mean, it makes sense. You can turn into a giant. I've never seen such a thing. He's got a good point. Such a fantastical creature must be preserved in only the most high end of locations. <laughs> ah, Bara can't help but chuckle at that. As he finds somewhere to set down and change into a set of armor that he can sleep in. Oh, well, this, if, uh, if they're going to take a rest, I will cast uh, the lullaby. Is it lullaby? Healing him? Healing him. Or actually, what is it normally? When, aren't they just going to go full health without it? I'm pretty sure they go full health without it. Crimson might not. Yam yeah, is now Torch. Oh, yes. I would extinguish that. I mean, really, if they're going to, if they're going to, if we're just going to sit here and recover, you don't lose anything by using spells unless we're going to get attacked in the middle of the night. Oh, it's but... daytime, right? This is just a short rest. Or are you guys going for a full rest? Well, they're completely exhausted for abilities, so whether they... There are no short rests in 3.5, and they don't get their abilities oh. back until the morning, so either way, they're camping out for the day. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I might as well just... Check up. I might as well just use the rest of my things to make them full health, and if we're gonna... We're gonna get all our spells back, right? Yeah. Nervous yeah, in the morning. Rest do in three in fifth edition, anyways. You can always wait until before you would regain your spells and use all your spells then, and then regain the spells. Yeah. You need to rest between when you cast spells and when you regain spells. Ah. Drink right before you go to bed. There you go. Yep. No, it makes perfect sense to use up your spells before you go to bed if you're wounded. Or at least get yourself close. Uh, I will use some more cure light then. Oh, I'll just do another healing him. A healing word. Everyone gets 13. Uh, and then I'll Decori did you add yours? did I add my what? plus 13 health I did now and then I'll just top everyone off with four more Everyone should be full. Um, seems like a good time to rest. Um, uh, if we are resting, I will cast a couple of cow drop spells and sort of loop them around the camp. Cow drop only lasts like a minute. All right, true. Never mind. For a minute, we will be protected. Yeah, I did not read that part. Okay, yeah. I'm sure I brought some permanent ones. Don't worry. I skipped my notice now, but I have spare change. I shall buy 10,000 bear traps. I was brewing coffee. Back in a sec. Sorry, you're getting coffee too? gone everybody's getting coffee okay um are you guys going to set watches for the night i shall take first watch i'll take watch of the first, first actually that is very 
unlucky of me. How many watches do you guys use? Is it like one, two, or three? I assume it's three. Well, it depends on the number of people in the group. If you have three people, you can do three watches of four hours each. If you have four people, you can do four watches of three hours each. And if you have five people, you can do five watches of two hours each. The difference being how long you are down uh, for your rest. Ten hours, twelve hours, whatever. I mean, we should just... Wouldn't it be easy to do two shifts of four hours each? Is that how that works? Maybe I'm getting math wrong because I suck at math. Well, each of you has to sleep for eight hours and be awake for a watch. Yeah, I guess you're right. So I guess it would be the five so if, five splits. Yeah, if you each do a two-hour watch, that covers ten hours of the day, two hours of which you're awake. All right, well, I'll take third watch. Bard will take the, la the final watch. During that time, he'll be on watch while praying. I will go first, I guess. During my watch, I'll have my scene of his ability up. How long does that last? Uh, I can cast it at will, so I will just have it up. You can cast see invisibility invis at will? Yes. That seems broken. I don't like invisible, invisible things. They sneak up on me and stab me in the night. Paranoid much? Look, it's not paranoid if it's true. How many things have snuck up on you in the night? All the things. That were oh, invisible. Wow. Everything. That's why I have seen That's it. Seen it. We, have, invisible. We, have, we have a history of being stabbed upon by tiny creatures. My favorite part about Sea Invisibility is it does nothing versus mundane hiding. Nope. But if anyone gets arrogant and they're like, I'm invisible, this bitch can't see me, I'll see him. Okay, who was on first watch? Uh, me. Yeah. Okay, you can roll a perception check. Uh, God, why is this so hard? Oh, and uh, I'll keep my aura on. I changed two of my auras. Cap. I'll keep major on armor and minor on reflex saves. Okay. You hear something approaching to the north. Uh, it's daytime, right? Not when you're resting. It's evening by then. Uh, so, like, how? What's my visibility? Is it still light enough that I could see? Yeah, you can still see to. Uh... To the limit of your vision, like you're in a forest, so there's all kinds of obstruction. Okay. Uh, can I discern the like animal or figure? I uh, you can make an insight check to figure that out. Or intelligence check. Um, you would say that it is probably a couple hundred pounds, um, in weight. Judging by the um, noise in the distance. Uh, how far do I think? Um, it's about a hundred feet to almost directly north, a little northwest. I'm gonna wait a little bit. If I hear it getting closer, I'm gonna wake up Cronus. Okay, you can roll another perception check. Okay, it is moving off to the northwest. Okay. It appears to be uh, 
moving like on a tangent to where you are so it isn't really getting closer but it's running across like the corner of your square a hundred feet away i don't see anything at all uh sure? not at this distance there's too much uh crap in the forest to see through uh I'll sort of just sorry what was that uh i'll sort of just keep doing what i'm doing if it's not getting closer if it starts yeah if it starts circling around but if it's just sort of wandering in that general direction um so i think i'll just wait for now okay after a few minutes it uh ceases making noise and uh disappears into the west all right Okay, so when you guys get up in the morning, um, the uh, survivors of the dungeon can uh, level up. And then what's your plan? Uh, I'm just going to mention I heard something big walking around the northeast, but I'm not sure what it was. Just mentioning it. So it runs away. Okay. Anyone care about the big thing in the northwest? Yes. Do you, do you know what it was? Like an idea uh, at all? Couldn't see, but it was at least a couple hundred pounds. Probably an animal. A couple hundred pounds. Can I make a knowledge check? To see if there would like, be like what sort of animals would be around here. What do I know? You can roll a knowledge nature. You can roll a bardic knowledge. Yep. Um. It's just plus ten. I need to look that up. You're only plus three to your knowledge nature. Yeah, I didn't. I put levels up. So. Do you have any ranks in it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, one. Nope, that makes sense. I was just checking. I thought maybe you just had a sixteen intelligence. I think I did that right. There you go. Your limited study of uh, wildlife uh, doesn't give you any indications, but your travels um, have uh, led you to believe that there are a lot of uh, large bears in this area, probably a brown bear or a uh, black bear. Judging by the size and the distance, it would just be a guess of which one it was, but uh, it's probably a bear of some sort. Yeah, so probably a bear. Uh, maybe not too much worry at the moment. So, uh, I assume we talked about it before we were camping, but, um, what exactly are you guys doing in that cave? The same thing you were attempting to do. Yeah, we were you getting the definitely loot didn't and the dragon. Find the dragon. Well, are you ready for round two today? Yes. But this time, Barda, spell immunity on me. I didn't hear a plead. Well, if you guys uh, got all your prep ready, I'm ready to go. Everything we should know about this dungeon that you are we are attempting to plunge the depths of before I do my daily rituals uh cobalt's like magic missiles uh that sounds scary I have a question how did you guys get in if... was that door open when you first did you come in this way or another way and it fell behind us Ah, okay. What is a trap? You think so? Because there's got to be some sort of mechanism above it. So I don't know. Maybe if we could like find out what's above that door, or the room above that door, would be interesting. Cause there was a. I don't know if you noticed as we were leaving, but there was another similar door, probably with another mechanism above it in the same room. Maybe even if we could find that, we could probably permanently open the doors. 
Are you able to see in the dark? Uh, I'm not without spells. Uh, Yogi, can you put another cure crit in my ring? Done. Thank you, sir. Well, it sounds like I won't be able to stop the Magic Missile of Doom. I'll keep those, though. All right. I'm good to go. I've made my, my glorious pact. Just got to roll the check for it. I was just about to say, don't you have to roll something for that? Yeah, but it doesn't actually affect if I get the ability or not. But I still roll. Oops, that's not a, that's not how you correctly spell that. Uh, so it's 8 plus 3. We're good to go. That's exactly the DC for that one. Anyway, let's roll the other one. Oh. Uh. The other one. I am successfully influenced by Tenebris. I'll get the stuff up for that. But I probably just act like a douchebag a little bit more. I don't know I'm if that's go. possible. <laughs> yep, I'm good to go. All right, you guys good? Um. Yes. All right, well, I assume we go back in the same way we went out. Unless anyone's got any other ideas. I no longer have seen visibility. Let's fuck that. We have taken fast healing instead. Yeah, it's going to be a shame when that mage comes in and turns himself invisible. I mean, look, I can't protect myself from Magic Missile. <laughs> I'd rather not just expire because they were like, Magic Missile, here's four damage. Ten hours later, here's four oh, more damage. You wish it was just four damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well the low-level get... ones only do D4 plus one. It just happens that they're the low-level ones fled in the first round of combat because you guys just slaughtered them. So then they brought out the big guns. I just need to get close to them, and they can't cast their spells no more. Fuck them. Yeah, fortunately, they can see 60 feet in the dark and uh, are excellent at hiding and sneaking through crevices. Yeah, well, they um, can... I'll show them a crevice. The uh, improved parry, that gives me plus four to my parry checks, right? I believe so. Just check on the document, see what it says. I'm actually going to... Uh, when uh, Lake sends me his parrying review, I'll go through all the parry stuff and uh, add some more shit to it. Originally, I just made it for a couple of players who wanted to do that shit, and other than Paul, I don't think anyone's ever really done it big time. And then when Lake joined, he started doing it. Improved parry says, you're highly skilled at parry. You gain a plus... Oh, plus four. It does... Okay, it's... it. Yeah. It's written, not a... Okay. So it is plus four to my parry checks. Yeah, I always put the word in so that people don't just scan for the numbers and then get it wrong. You actually have to read it. Oh, actually, I got to... Yeah. Can you guys see the map? Yep. I have my scene darkness still, by the way. Okay, you don't have any trouble seeing. Woo! Uh, I'm going to be holding my trusty torch. Darkness beware. Uh, I'm going to run the same for his reflex and um, AC. That 
how do you advance through this dungeon? You walk. So like a certain order of things you people do? Oh, I usually go forward and make sure there's no traps. Make sure your hit, po hit points are accurate. Oh yeah, I put roll. I haven't used my reroll yet, so I'm still rolling. Oh, you didn't roll your hit points for the level? No, I'm still at 91. So it's D12, right? Yep. You have not rolled particularly well, but you haven't rolled low enough that you've used it. There's a five again. Yeah, five. Below average, but not worth re-rolling. Barda with 128 hit points. Why do you have one wound, Barda? I was only healed up to two hit points under, and you heal one for night. No, you heal your con modifier plus half your level. Ah, my bad. I forgot that there was, it was different. By the rules, you heal one hit point per level. Oh. Oh, I severely misunderstood the rules for 3.5 then. I always thought it was just one per night. <laughs> I always thought that it was weird that you would heal your level, so I made the con modifier in there to... At least make it make sense. Oh, that makes sense. And I just, I for some reason, I always thought that three point five was one per night, which made it really hard to ever adventure in three five. Yeah, that was the way it was in second edition, and I had a house rule in second edition as well, um, because if you didn't have a healer, you couldn't play D and D because you'd always be brutally wounded. And by the time you got to like sixth or seventh level, it took you months to recover from one battle. <laughs> it's still really weird that Yogi person whose health I can't oh. animate my shield pull out my my glorious plus one spike chain animate your shield yeah animated shield that's how you get your shield bonus it's not it's not a dancing shield it's an animated shield yeah same thing yeah yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cast spell music Corey and my spell And then I'm going to bold strength on myself and um, uh, I think that's everything for there. Are you aware that an animated shield is a plus two? Yep, I have, a plus one, I have a plus one animated shield. Do you have a 9,000 gold piece shield? Yes. Wow. AC is important to me. Probably could have spent that better, but fuck it. Yeah, the dancing ability doesn't last as long, but it's only a plus one ability. Unless I miss it animate, it's permanent, correct? Um, Yeah, it says it commands. It... Upon command, the shield animates within two feet of you and protects you as if you were wielding it. Um, only one shield can protect a character. And you still take all the penalties of it. Which seems stupid since you're not holding it. It's probably just a balancing mechanic. I'm not sure but why that. But the would question be is, balanced. why why would you ever not command it to be animated if it lasts forever? I don't know. Good question. Like, if it had a duration, that would make sense. Like, if it lasted it's for an probably hour, probably so you can give the shield to other people and not run into those rules as written, Jimbo. So like, it doesn't say it turns off, so it's just floating over the dead body. You can't take it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's one thing you could do with it. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't really care. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Push comes to shove, I can unanimate it and give it to someone who doesn't have a shield, and they can animate it. So, I guess there's that. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do what the cleric does and just cast Gar Garillion's, uh Blessing and well, hold the shield out. in your offhand. We don't have cleric levels here. You can take your dirty spells and shove them.
we hate spells here in spell land, spellless land. So it took a feat just to prevent casters from casting around me when they're when they're when they're threatened. Um, Kenny's other character in the uh, Dark First Rising game um, is a paladin, and he took that spell as well, so he can wield his greatsword and his shield. Yeah, it's strong. Once you qualify for some funny feats too. All right, are we ready? Oh yeah. I have updated all of my macros now. I think everyone is waiting for you. I actually, since you mentioned it, and I think it might be a good idea here, I am going to go ahead and cast the Grillon's Blessing on myself here. Beforehand? Yeah. How long does it last? That's 10 minutes per level, the one you linked me. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a good spell to cast at the beginning. Uh, Corey, there's yeah, a trip line level. across the hall. Roll back here. It's back up. Yeah, I was just checking out your field of vision, and then you moved up before I could uh, check your field of vision. So then while I was reassessing it, you were moving forward again. Okay, you managed to disable the trap without any difficulty. Oh, that's a bad perception. Yeah, it's a terrible time to roll a bad perception check. Doors are all open? Or is one of the door to the west is not open. Yeah, we kind of broke that, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, you snapped all the rigging and it's going to take time for them to repair it. Yeah, fuck them. They deserve it. Uh, what's, that, let me... what's that door made of? Uh, both doors are made out of stone. I could always shape stone shape it if we really wanted to go that way then. Uh, do you think it's a smart idea if we like break the other door as well? It might Concerned. be just to stop ourselves from getting trapped in here at all. Yeah, I mean, considering... Just, just to put things in con context, when the door is broken, you're trapped in here. Well, yeah, but then we can lift it, and they can't, right? That, well, that again, is technically true. stone shape it to make the doors into something that we can just walk through. If you don't waste all your stone shapes this time, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying to use it at the beginning. Well, most I'm thinking of, like, uh... I don't need to be attacked. If the east door is fucked as well, then they can't flank us, right? If we break the mechanism somehow. Yeah, you can stone shape the west door open. Well, like, how much resources does it take to lift it? Um, Yogi can turn into a giant with one use of his shape change, so that's not a huge use of resources. He only gets eight a day, but... Um... Not the end of the world. Um, and once you lift it up, and you could just put a stone shaped sh uh, shelf under it to hold it open, or you could just stone shape a hole in the door so you can go just walk through it. I'm just also thinking of like, what's a way we can get through it without them getting through it? Because it's obvious they uh, are coming, coming back and fucking with shit because <laughs> there's a tripwire that wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> Um, so yeah, a... one of the ways you could do that, uh, is to break both mechanisms and stone shape a handhold through it so that Yogi can open them. And then they would need a giant to open the doors. Yeah, we could do that with the east door if you guys want, because the west door already has a handle, handhold in it. And is broken. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm ambivalent. It's mainly up to Shapeshifter. You can spare the slots for it. Like I said, I got plenty of shapeshifting. Uh, well, if you want to go up, I could put an acid hole through the other door, or we could shapeshift it for a handhold. And you could Why don't we kind of do that if we have to leave again, or when we leave again? Because then we can stop them from fucking stuff on the out, and we might need the resources in there. So I figure 
before we expend resources breaking a door that we're that's only useful if we leave, we should just you know save those. Uh, but I don't know how this trap works. So if only one of us gets to go through and then it gets sprung, that's very bad. So in my opinion, we should open up this door uh, either with a shape change or a stone shape and say fuck that shit. Well, if we're gonna have to use shape, uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna have to use the wild shape to open the door anyway, right? Might as well break it while we're here. I'm fine with that. Using it. Yeah, so if... Well, if breaking the it... door is not particularly difficult. I thought you guys were trying to make it so you could go through it and they couldn't. Well... They both achieve the same it. thing. We, yeah, we, don't, we can only it. open it if we break it. And if we break it, they can't use it. Yeah. No, That's no, no. Some... What, what are you meaning by breaking it, then? Getting him to shapeshift to break the mechanism. and then Oh, okay, yeah. Held it. Make it, make it but that's not going to change the west door. Oh, I was going to say do the same thing. The west door is already broken. Oh, I know. I mean the east door. From my direction to the east door. So both yeah, one broken. door, the mechanism is broken and it is sealed. The other door is open at the moment. Oh, yeah, I can so, try and break that one. Yeah, you guys up for that? Are you breaking these mechanisms so that they're trapped in there? Yeah, more so, yeah. so they can't open the doors and, you know, add more traps to this place. Um, I, I'm not really down for trapping them in a cave. Yeah, they are not great things, but uh, I don't know if they have a food source in there, and if they can't get these doors open and they starve to death in there, that's a horrible way to die. True. Very compassionate. Very compassionate. Well, let's open this door then. Just hope that doesn't bite us in the ass. Oh, it'll bite us in the ass. The being good always bites you in the ass. DFR, DFR, DFR. Actually, being good hasn't bit me in the ass at all in that game. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. You never have to be good in that game, so it never bites you in the ass. Let's go, Yogi. East door. West. Uh, West. West door. West door. I was going to say, do we change the compass? Remember, never eat soggy waffles. It's east from the other side of the planet. Let's go. If you're on the other side of that door, it's east. great giant of the west we require your assistance okay yogi so you're gonna burn two of your shapeshifts to turn into a giant and back again yep you can be a dragon now can't you yes i can oh no well you you well know my theory of if you can be a dragon be a dragon an eight hit dice dragon's pretty flimsy yeah it's a very young Cobalt to worship you. A CR8 green dragon has 14 hit dice. Wasn't the dragon we killed a flimsy little dragon like Yogi's yep. turn into? Yeah, when your choices are being uh, an Archon Hound or uh, a tiny green dragon, it's not much of a choice. It's a medium green dragon. Yeah, which is tiny from dragon standards. True. All right, boys Cobalt and girls, what are we doing? You. We're lifting this door. Okay, Yogi, Um, as I stated, you don't have any difficulty lifting the door. Uh, the problem with the door is that it is badly damaged. Uh, from slamming into the ground so when you start to lift it it starts to break apart and uh, it basically shatters into slabs of stone that fall to the ground perfect stone shape good job yep it's a wizard <laughs> well I guess that uh that throws it all out the window it's fine 
that's why I was asking what your plan was. I mentioned that it slammed to the ground really hard yeah. last time. Nobody asked any questions. It's no big deal. Fuck them. We were to leave the rope before them anyway, because they deserve food. Mighty Swift Fingers, you are the lead. Are you going west this time? Don't tell Yogi that that's my name. He has to be fingered like 20 minutes ago. I mean, you don't want to finger blast the the or dog man in the back? It wasn't Yogi, it was Barda. I did not oh, no, ask Yogi. Yogi. Somebody made some kind of mention about getting fingered. Pretty sure it was Barda. He's into that kind of stuff. He's a priest of Tempest. Why wouldn't he be? He's wild and free. <laughs> um, there was an outer ring where people went around. You could go around the outside. And then there was an inner ring. But have we seen anything that would, would have been like a path down or like something that looked like it was a chamber? Uh, not as of yet. Hang on, Corey. Don't run so far ahead. That was a movement. It was just one movement. Oh, okay. Then roll your uh, fortitude save. Oh, I don't like fortitude saves. Oh, fortitude saves are okay. Is it a spell? It is a spell. Kona cold. I'm good for that one. Nice. Oh yeah, I always forget that you have the ring of elemental control, so you're pretty nasty. So you take 19 points of cold damage. Could I get some uh, healing assistance, please? Yes, if you wait approximately... 114 seconds. I can heal all of your damage. Hold on. Let me get a heal check. <laughs> Sorry, why 114 seconds? I can heal as a standard action one hit point per round, forever and always. Oh my god. I have the Swiss Army Knife that requires one day of preparation. There, a heal check of 23. I'll um, give him a cure mono. Well, uh, Corey's burning up all of the uh, the crits. Uh, Yogi's using up all the threes, so that balances out. What's that heal check stuff he does? Like, what is that? It's like a standard action, like, man the wounds thingy, or what is that? Uh, as a full round action, he can roll a DC 10 um, heal check to... Uh, basically bind his wounds for every five points above that he heals another uh one point up to a maximum of five but it can only do once once you actually get any kind of magical healing you can't do a heal check again so it's just a free five points up to five points of healing can you do that forever as long as someone doesn't receive magic healing no you can only do it once per wound gotcha that's why he immediately said, he'll check me. Well, he got he got some HPs. Whatever's left, I can stand there next to him and give him a hug and he'll heal. Are you guys going to stand around for 100 rounds or whatever it was? Yeah, 114 seconds, which is 19 rounds. Uh, but he's healed some, so it's not nearly as long. So just walk and skip, hold hands and skip, and you'll be good. Yeah, it's standard right. action, it's fine. I healed him five, but yeah. He doesn't want my hug. There's eight okay. more. There's 12 uh, more. Corey, more. you can roll another save. Looks like Bardo, Bardo wants to roll the save with you. <laughs> what is the no. save? I'm another fortitude Bardo's save. Behind that I don't take damage. No, you moved up to the square. You take the damage. Ah. This is Reflect why I reason. specifically don't tell you anything until you move. Ooh, just barely, Corey. I think 20 is the save. Yeah, 
yeah, evocation is 20. You take another uh, 16 points of cold damage. Uh, did you roll your save, Barda? I asked to clarify what the save was. Oh, sorry, fortitude. Thank you. That should be a really good save for you. It is. But not really so badly. much. Look at that, a 40 heal check. It's just five, right? Yeah, max is five. So, Corey, since you can stealth at full movement rate, um, you move through the dungeon pretty quickly. You might want to stop at each corner before you go around because that's the fourth time you've run or fifth time you've run around a corner and something just out of your view is a trap. Okay. Well, could use some more healing. This is how it went last time, they. Just oh, ran around know, the like dungeon said, taking you damage. Stand there for a little bit. I can do this. Since you all want to go forward, I will do this instead. Was it 1d8? Oral more healing. Plus 8. So that's this is on Corey. So. Do you have Tiny yet, Yogi? No, I'll take that next level. Well, I'll take small next. All right, well, Corey gets 18. You wait but 30 seconds. I can do that again. I only need five hit points back. How much damage did I have? I had some concerns. The Romans start bugging me. I didn't hear. Then... Oh, that's the healing. Kronos, can you uh, link me your healing abilities? Just stick them in Discord. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the page number. But I'll, I'll link the... Oh, I can't link the excerpt because it's too long. Great. Most of the abilities you should be able to find on D&D tools, and then you can just link the page from it. Yeah, uh, yeah binding is a little bit different. Yeah, okay, Corey. Put on there. You do not see anything. Which one am I using? Using Bureau. It's on page 26. It's on page 26. This is where we had the big fight, right? Up in the yep, corner. Yep, that's here. where the mage was. I'm just going to run and grab a drink before I lose my voice. I'll be right back. Can you turn into a kobold? I don't have... Are they medium or small? They're medium, I think. Oh, they have plus one size. They must be small. Yeah, they're small. Yeah, next level. I always did the opposite. I never went big first. I always went small first. I would do medium medium creatures, and then I would go small. I, I would leave tiny, but I would... Well, sometimes I'd be tiny. I would do small would do so. so that I could sneak around places as like a a cat or something. I guess cats are tiny. If I was going the spell casting route, I probably would have. Or did you want the, those little five extra points? If you want to give me five hit points, I'll take them. Yeah. 
I I didn't hear how much damage I had taken. I don't think he actually rolled unless um, the five d six. Yeah, the five d six. The same. And then somebody rolled a healing on me. How much did I get out of that? Back. Uh, healing check was five. Then, it's really I, hard for me not to roll five hit points now. Now faith healing the rest of it. He said he stepped away for a second, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, oh, wait, I'm gonna restart my computer while he's gone, so I will be right back. It shouldn't be too long. It's really hard for Yogi to not give you five hit points, but he tries.